like the flowers? They're beautiful, aren't they? But when you think of me, do you see the flowers? Or do you feel pain? Well, I should like to tell you my true story. Come closer and we'll begin. I was born in Mexico in 1907. My father is German and my mother, oh, sorry, I got a little bit of pain. My mother is Mexican and I lived in the blue house. I had two older sisters and one younger one. And when I was six years old, I had, this, I had a disease called polio and my leg, well, it was very weak. To get it stronger, I did wrestling and swimming, even if that wasn't what a girl was supposed to do. Now, I went to school and they called me peg leg, but, but I loved learning. I loved doing science, math and history and lots of other things. And then I was put into the best school in Mexico City. And there I learned ma many things. And I was also in a team called the Cachachas. Oh, sorry, a little bit of pain. And we did lots of mischievous things. I was the brave and bold one because I did lots of tricks like stealing things. And then that's where I, well, Diego Rivera came there. He was an honor to our school, but I still played tricks on him. <laughs> I was very mischievous. And that was where I met him. And then a couple of years time, I met him again in a party. But when I was coming back on the tram um, in the school, I was coming back home to the blue house. And then this, the tram crashed and I had a very bad accident. I broke many bones and I was heavily broken. And I, I had pain for the rest of my life, like I have now. And I still probably will always have pain, but I had parties with all my friends. And when I was in hospital, my mother made, I, I said to my father, can I borrow some of your paint? Because I was so bored lying in bed. And my mother made me a special easel to paint while I was lying down. At first I wanted to be a doctor, but then when I started painting, I, I, I wanted to be an artist. I loved it because it, it, it was in the hospital and I was bored and it kept me something to do. I painted myself because it was the best subject that I knew. I painted my friends and other things, but I mostly painted myself. And then I had parties with my friends and with one of the parties, I met Diego Rivera again. He didn't know me, but I knew him. And there I said to him, look at a couple of my artworks. And he did. And he said that you have talent. And I spent time with him and I started to fall in love with him. And my father called us the elephant and the dove. I was the dove and he was the elephant because he was, he was fat and he was much older than me. And he's, my father said I was delicate like a dove. And we started painting together because he liked doing murals. And I, well... I didn't. I did lots of painting, but I also cared for him and looked after him. Oh, sorry, I have pain again. Ah. And then we did many other things, but after a while, he was. We sat. We lived in a separate house. He made a bridge between two houses. I would work in one, and he would work in the other. But as things went on, we had to go to America for his shows, and I was feeling homesick of Mexico and I wanted to go home and things got weird and we we divorced but then I remarried him because I knew that I couldn't live without him I needed him by my side so we stayed together and we did Mexico and I was painting and well I was asked to do an ex well sorry sorry about that the pain was too much for me, so I needed to get a glass of water. Like I was saying, in the divorce, I cut all my hair off and I started to wear boys' clothes. I wanted to show Diego what he had done to me. And in that time, I painted the two Fridas. One Frida is the one that Diego loved with all the jewellery and flowers in my hair. The other one is the European Frida, the one that Diego didn't love. But then... I there we married him because I knew that I couldn't live without him. He started to go away to America and I was getting homesick. I wanted to go back 
to Mexico. And I was, I really wanted to go home. And I painted, uh, like, one of my paintings was half of Mexico and half of America. And it showed that I loved Mexico. But my pain started to get worse. And I wasn't painting as much. And I was lying in bed. Oh, sorry, I have pain. Like now, I have pain. And it got worse and worse. And I had to have more operations. I had my back operation. But when I was in America then, I, my, my paintings were getting to be known. And I was starting to get recognition. In my paintings, I show how I feel. I show my pain. I, I show my emotions, like my anger and everything. In the last 10 years of my life, I kept a journal of how I felt and even there's sort of drawings and I did all types of things in there. And I also wrote how I feel. I wrote that I loved Diego so much that he was everything for me and I cared a lot about him. And my last exhibition was in Mexico and because I was so sick and I was in pain so much that they had to bring me in the ambulance on my bed. Oh, sorry. Pain again. Mm. <sighs> sorry about that. Sometimes my pain overcomes me. There have been two accidents throughout my life. One, the bus, and two, Diego. But even when I had my greatest pain, I had Diego and my art, and I am truly grateful for that. And now, do you see me, Frida, Viva la Vida.